Okay, welcome back to FCO GX Ruby Cup with Captain JJ back at the helm. Now we're moving back with Master Class on the Ruby Cup. This time we're using Death Anchor. Of course, this machine is a little bit more of an improvement now on the X counterpart, although his body still remains on the weak side. Twist Road is next. And as per usual, oh, Zulu looks like a madman. It's probably because he is a madman. Very flamboyant by the look of things as well. Yeah, twist to start things off as usual. And we're going through five cuts of only two lives. Yeah. Of course, what I do know is that the Death Hanger does have great hot speed and a reasonably good boost. But its drift handling leaves a lot to be desired, as well as its acceleration as being fully demonstrated here. Steering wise, it's easy to control, but when you're using the shoulder buttons, that's when it becomes difficult. Just look at that, with the top speed it's got, I'm just leaving everybody for dead on the first boost now. That is really with little to no effort at all. But now it's the boost up, and as you can see, I don't know the. Yeah, there you go. That's the difficulty of this machine sometimes. But I'm able to find a way around. Oh, for goodness sake, yeah, you see? The second you get out of control with this machine, you're pretty much fighting. You're just fighting to regain control. And on harder tracks, that will prove costly. Nevertheless, the first round is in the bag. Let's move on to the second one, which is Casino Palace Split Oval. Pretty obvious if you look at the trail map and uh, track preview as to why it has your aforementioned name. There's the dash plates, but also things can go wrong for this machine very quickly. Especially with the weak uh, body he's got. Anyway, let's go. Oh, missed. As you probably notice, I'm lifting off the throttle quite a bit. That's called momentum throttle. It actually helps you to slow down the speed loss when you're after a boost or hitting the dashboard. Only works on certain speeds though. And it doesn't work this. And, it, and it's affecting those phase from machine to machine. That was uh, pretty clean. Nicely done that. That was a very clean run with that machine on that track. Very clean. Very pleased with that. So let's move on now to um, surface side. Different gather of fish and a lot of side areas. So making sure the first lap is right is going to be absolutely crucial I think. Stefan, like mentioned, is very good when you're only using like, your basic throttle and boost controls with the control stick, but as soon as you move onto the shoulder buttons, yeah, it becomes a little bit difficult to handle. If you are enjoying the video, by the way, please do leave a like, please do subscribe, please do share, because it will just help us all out. Now, in the long term. Ooh, almost getting hit by the... Almost getting hit by somebody. Yikes! Sheesh, yeah. Tell me about it. Of course, doing this is not so much of a problem. It's the last part. Will it be a bit of a problem? 
Yeah, that sort of thing is going to cause a problem, I think, in the last part of this. But, uh, nevertheless, I, I've got the lead now. But it's just a question of being able to hold on to it. Because it's turn, its circle is not at all brilliant. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, this part is difficult. And also, it doesn't react well when I'm trying to sharp turn. Oh, that might prove costly later. I was keeping an eye on what's my because I'm standing behind me. Because he is my main rival. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't think I'm driving Death Anchor correctly, but I'm only trying to do it as best as I can. But nevertheless, a win's a win. They look reasonably comfortable looking on the scheme of things. Look if I'm from the grand scheme of things, it looks reasonably comfortable. <laughs> Next up, the super cross. This might prove a little bit tricky, but I think with long straight, so though, it might well prove advantageous. Of course, the slow, slow acceleration is really... It's not exactly brilliant, is it? But once I do get going, however, it, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty good. This tight corner really is not exactly brilliant. Oh, fudge off, Blood Falcon. I do actually have to take the pit area here, and I still got hit! Hmm, this is not going well for me. Definitely not going well. So as long as I actually can get some sort of decentness and a decent way up the field on this opening lap, I should hmm, be reasonably okay. But I've only got real two proper good use. Oh, not again. Now where's my gazelle? There he is. He shot off because of all the um, because of the fact I had such a bad, I had so little boost to do anything. How many times? Yeah, this machine is so terrible when it's trying to when you're trying to do tight turns. It's not right at all. But then again, it is just based on a missile. It's very narrow. Got there in the end. Definitely got there in the end. So I felt that was my worst track out of the way. So now is 
multiplex. Aeropress multiplex, to be precise, can cause a multiple of problems, multiple corners, multiple straights, multiple ups and downs, multiple loops. And multiple mines and multiple races against us. It's just so, so many puns on the word multi here. Don't know it. Let's go. Final race. Hopefully. And I say hopefully because the last time I did, the last machine I did it, I had to have two attempts. Uh, this is where the tight, it's lack of tight handling really does come back to bite me. Uh, and every time I press the shoulder button, it decides to overreact, so to speak. This thing just overreacts every time you want to turn. That could have gone so wrong so quick. That could have gone so wrong so quickly. Maybe just using shoulders and not turning at all will probably help. I will probably have to look at that one back and see what on earth happened there. Definitely have not attempted the suicide finish on that performance. Yeah, Ruby Cup done with the um, Death Anchor. It is meant to be one of the better machines in time attack mode in terms of non customs. But in my hands, I'm not utilizing it to its full potential and I don't really know how to control it that well. But that's just how it is, I'm afraid. And if that was the easier cup and I was struggling with that machine, I hate to think what I'm going to do on the other cups. But nevertheless, it's done. If you enjoyed the content of this uh, cup, no matter the skill of what or how I played it, please do leave a like, please do subscribe, do share this video around, as it will help me and it will help a lot of other people who just want to see some entertainment. So the obligatory um, lap of honour is going now. And it takes place on Sonic Oval. Which itself is an which itself is a track in the AX. Well, not exactly the AX car, but it's an AX track. I always find it so cute that uh, Bill are just celebrating like one on top of the other giving each one a piggyback.
And now it's our turn for the interview for uh, Zuda. One question as usual. And yeah, we got a scared into you again. Next on uh, F Zero TV, we'll risk our lives to interview the champion. Uh, uh, champion, uh, could 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 we have a few words with you? What's scary? Oh wait, what's scary about Zuda? But anyway, what do you do in your spare time? I like to grow flowers, flowers that kill people. I see. <laughs> Thank you for the interview. No, I don't know why that's so funny. Time to say goodbye on F Zero so TV. Say. Goodbye, we'll go flowers, but it kills people. Oh. Anyway, on that note, this ends the video. And next up on the Ruby Cup Master Mode will be Astro Robin. This is Captain JJ signing out. <laughs>